2011 for the climate leader uh, program here. I talked to ACF about bringing teachers, more teachers, because they are also a good leaders if they can train them. That's why now we are invited to, to this program in Australia and we are very happy for this. I think a really exciting thing about the Climate Reality Project is it's empowering people from all walks of society to be able to make a bigger difference in their own communities. And so it's really at a very grassroots level, if you like, it's work. But hey, at the end of the day, an informed population, people who are caring for the future, that's really essential for change. And I think that model with teachers is particularly powerful because they're so catalytic in their own communities. They have an opportunity to make a big difference and this will help them be more effective. Well, the Climate Educator Skillshare has been um, put together through AusAid by the ACF and it's a, a wonderful program because as, a, as an educator in Australia, it ticks a lot of boxes for things that um, I'm very interested in. We always talk about uh, environmental education. Uh, climate change is also uh, an environmental problem but on a global level and there has uh, not been uh, comprehensive activities uh, like this involving uh, teachers who are learning about uh, climate change specifically. The Skillshare which we are doing uh, today in these uh, currently with Australian and Indonesian friends is uh, going to help us in developing uh, content. First of all, we are trying to sensitize teachers towards what all active, different type of sustainable activities are happening. And then we uh, want to translate it back when they go back home into uh, lessons and lesson plans and uh, you can say peer training, so they'll be teaching other teachers. Once the teacher get the knowledge about climate change, about environmental damage and everything, they will change their attitude, they will care about what to do, and they have their own idea, depends on the school, depends on to how can they uh, change the, their, their world in the school, in their own capacity. I just feel as a, an educator myself, I'm in a very privileged position. Um, we really do get to touch the future. And there's a, a great quote by Neil Postman, who's, um, who's no longer living, but he, an educational philosopher. And he said that our children are the messages that we send to a future that we will never see. And I really want that message to be that we cared. And teachers are in a great position to present that message to the future through our children. This is a good approach to talk, to uh, inform about climate change to the people, to the community through teachers. And so it is very, very important that we teach our children as well as the youth to make a shift in their lifestyles, to adopt the seven hours, I would say. I wouldn't stop at the three hours. I have a seven hours for sustainability and which I find that uh, everyone should adopt and we should inculcate it in our lifestyles. Yes, of interest to the teachers mostly uh, is how the Australian educators really involve with the children and they let the children really express what they feel, what they know, as well as the uh, community involvement with the school's activities. That's really something for the Indonesian teachers. It's a mindset that needs to change. There is a kind of a something, how can you say that your waste is someone else's responsibility? And I would call waste as a resource in the wrong place. My waste, if I can look after it well, could become a resource for someone else.
it's really important that we do start working now and um, as educators I think that is really um, an essential part of what we do um, because it's all about helping children to deal with the challenges that the future is going to present and I think climate change is high on the agenda but particularly in the Asia Pacific region. The people don't know. They have to be, uh, they have to be informed I think. They have to be. We have the impact, big impact of climate change in Indonesia. Poverty, crime, social problems, it's also the impact of uh, the climate change because we depend on the, you know what we call it, agriculture, and it stopped now. It stopped, they, they cannot grow the, the, the foods and so on, while we produce food, a, a lot of foods before. Now we have to import. India and Bangladesh are on the front line of climate change because we have a very vast coastline about 7,500 kilometers long and lots of uh, our major cities like Mumbai, we have Kolkata, we have Chennai, they all are based on the, are, uh, on the, uh, they're based on the coastline and therefore uh, and India is, uh, has a huge uh, fish, uh, fisheries and all the economic activities are also related to a large coastline and therefore we are very worried that the climate change and the rising seas may have very detrimental effect on the country. By 2020 we will have the youngest, uh, we'll be the youngest country by the fact that we'll have the largest number of youth in the country which means that youth should be able to live a sustainable lifestyle otherwise it's doomsday. I think the biggest advantage of this Skillshare has been, like for example now it's happening is that we have these uh, 10 teachers coming from India, they're getting exposed to the whole Skillshare as a group and we will have get now time to do some activities uh, quickly when we go back home. I think that getting a group of people together like that there's great power because they see they're not working in isolation, they're like-minded people not just in their own schools and countries but right around the world. And, I think that that connectiveness will lead to greater interdependence as educators but also as a species. And this experience will bring uh, brilliant ideas for them to go back to Indonesia and spread this into, into their, their community. I think that's a good, a good point of this program for them. Well I reckon this is really exciting. You know what, I think one of the exciting things is this could blossom in a thousand different ways and we're already seeing that the commitment of these teachers in their own communities the work of the climate reality project in india indonesia and australia is already making a big difference and this means they'll be better informed to make a bigger difference in their own community and i know they will <music>